Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication and Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone is doing well. So it's been a busy week here at the shop. I made some more progress on the funny car. So you can see we got the fuel tanks finished up. The uh, mock-up block is in the uh, car. We also got the ISP uh, head pads in place, except for it's just the backing plate. That's a carbon fiber backing plate. And then what we'll do is send it off to ISP. They'll cover them with foam and then get them back to us and we can install them. So that's all in place. Um, we got the mock-up block in place for a few reasons. One, we're gonna put the cylinder heads on it, a blower manifold and a blower, so we can finish uh, cutting a nicer hole in the body. The customer started with cutting the, some of the uh, blower opening out and we're just gonna clean everything up. So we need everything in place to make sure we make the right cuts. Also, this is a 1993 funny car chassis, an SMW car. Since 1993, things have changed on the blocks. So we had to have the block in place to make sure the oil pump had clearance. Now, normally we end up with a situation where the top frame rail starts hitting the oil pump because they've moved the pump location in the blocks since 93. And when they were building cars, they were building cars for that style block. In this case, all we had to do was move the upright back a little, and that uh, just gave us a little bit more clearance on the oil pump. Um, basically, all that was hitting was the uh, pressure uh, check valve on the pump. So we just had to move it back, and uh, now everything clears and, and shouldn't have any problem. Next thing in line, we'll be doing uh, blowbacks on the bell housing. s and always did this style of a blowback. I'm not sure if we'll keep that or if we'll go to a more of a modern style where we run the uh, T-bolt basically through the uh, upright and then we'll have to have tabs put on the uh, bell housing. One thing about Trick Titanium and the bell housings, we're not allowed to modify them. Um, even that's, <clears throat> that's even putting tabs on. Um, they really, really frown about it, and a lot of times they won't recertify it if we put tabs on it. So what we'll do is end up either making a set of titanium tabs or putting marks on the bell housing where we want the tabs and send it all back to them. So that's one thing a lot of people don't realize. I know guys that have welded on them. Heck, I know we've welded on them, um, but recently we have not been able to with their kind of their new rules on, hey, let's... They wanted to be able to ones to uh, mount everything on their bell housing. So with that being said, and if you're ever modifying a bell housing or working on a titanium bell housing, it's probably better you let them handle the welding. Back here, we've got the fire bottles mounted, pew tank mounted. Um, we are gonna make a, a new latch system just to make it a little bit easier getting the body on and off. Right now, with where the pew tank's mounted, it makes it really hard, so we'll make a new mount <clears throat> for the body, and then that should make life easier for the body to go on and off. If you've ever worked on a funny car, um, you'll under you guys understand that it's always a pain in the butt if the body doesn't just drop right on. Over here on the Pontiac Firebird, we haven't had a chance to start on it yet. I'm just waiting on some parts and pieces, but hopefully by the end of the week um, we'll be able to jump on it. Now I know we've also had the 55 Chevy Gasser. That is uh, still here at the shop, not at my shop, but uh, it is getting front and rear Lexan, glass, or Lexan put in it. And uh, hopefully within the next few days, we'll have that back at the shop. So that's uh, still a project that's being worked on. Um, like I said, we just got it over at a glass shop, getting the front and uh, rear windows put in it. So hopefully, Middle or middle to the end of the week, we'll have that back. Now over here, we've been making some progress on the Ford Lightning. You can see all the parts and pieces that uh, need to go back to the customer. And then uh, Jeremy actually had him start on getting the uh, roll bar in place. So Saturday, we got the main hoop in place. And then we've been able to get the pillar bars into place. Now everything's Pretty nice, high and tight, and really clean looking. That's what we like to have. Um, 
keeping it real tight to the pillars gives you plenty of room for uh, your sight. A lot of times you don't want these bars over here because they'll end up in the uh, driver's line of sight for the tree. So everything's uh, coming together nicely. Working on this top bar. We're actually gonna make it so that way it rolls out a little bit. Just kind of gives it some character instead of doing a straight across bar. Um, you can see the main hoop is still a ways from the back of the uh, cab. So what we'll do is step the uh, seatbelt bar and let it lean back a little bit farther. This also gets the driver back a little bit farther, which also puts a little bit more weight on the rear rear end. Once the cage is all roughed into place or tacked into place, we can start getting our strut mounts up front, which will tie to the cage also, and really get after getting the front end mounted. Now back here, we still have a lot to do when it comes to the back half, but uh, like I said, everything is based on the uh, cage. So once the cage gets into place, then all of this can uh, come together. Well, that is it for the weekly shop update. I do want to uh, give a shout out to Bailey Industrial, Feronius Welders, Edwards Iron Workers, Cleveland Punch and Die, Hypotherm Plasma Cutters, uh, Racing Junk, Trick Tools, uh, Strong Hands uh, ta Welding Tables, for all your guys' support. Um, really appreciate everything you do for uh, pH Fabrication. So I also want to uh, thank all of our customers for uh, just being really, really great with, with us and uh, I really appreciate your, uh, your continued support. Um, well, that is it. I hope you guys all have a great uh, rest of the week and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.